welcome to Karina Star Tarot. This is your mid-February to mid-March tarot reading and it's a love tarot reading but it's still a general reading for the Leo Collective so take what resonates for you and leave what doesn't. If, you, if it doesn't resonate for you check out your moon, venus and rising signs in some of my other readings. Please don't forget to hit the like button, share this video and absolutely subscribe to my channel. would love to get more Leo and energy into my channel. Thank you. If you're interested in purchasing a personal reading from me, then you can find the link to personal readings in the description box directly below this video. Also, if you would like to consider offering a donation towards this reading, and towards my channel's growth then you'll also find the donation link in the description box below this video alternatively you can go to my channel on youtube Karina Star Tarot you'll find all the links there please bear in mind that I'll be reading the energy from the cards and the energies can represent both male and female energies the energies of anyone around you and cross watchers are very welcome to join this reading. So I'm going to start off with the Love Island Oracle deck. And draw you out some cards from there. And find out what's going on in your love life. And the first card out you've got is Love Call. Which is a great start for you. And it says someone expresses love. A message of love. Thinking of you and letting you know. So you could be getting, receiving a text or a, a phone call from someone expressing their love, telling you how much they love you, um, letting you know that they really care about you, they're thinking of you, you know, expressing that, communicating that to you, a lot of you. So let's get you out another card. And you've got the butterfly, which is what a uh, cancer ad as well. Um, a butterfly, this is about... A relationship evolving to the next phase, you know, a higher level of commitment. Uh, some of you could be healing that inner child or working on healing that inner child, healing issue, issues um, that maybe stem from childhood. It could be the person that you're in a relationship with. And it speaks of growth as well, personal growth. One more card. And we have oops. We have the golden mirror. Because some of you could be dealing with someone who's pretty toxic or in a toxic relationship with someone that's very self-absorbed, very selfish. Maybe some of you are dealing with someone who is presenting narcissistic personality. Maybe there's a one-sided relationship going on. And maybe someone is love bombing you. So I think there are different situations for a lot of you going on here. So let's get you out some Romance Angels. First card out is this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you see. So some of you definitely could be dealing with um, someone that is expressing a lot of love for you. And you could be thinking that this is the one for you. You know, it could be potentially... Um, a good match in love for you, for some of you, um, I think, I think that definitely belongs with love call, some of you are definitely going to be entering a very loving kind of relationship, or getting lots of messages of love from someone special. And then we've got keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Some of you could be 
having new love enter your life uh, it might not be someone that you particularly go for or someone that you would automatically choose um, might be someone that totally surprises you someone that you never even considered before I feel it goes that side and then we've got retreat it's time to disconnect from the world some of you may be having time out from a relationship maybe this is related to the golden mirror maybe you're in a bit of a one-sided relationship and maybe you've decided to separate from someone maybe that separation is on the cards for you maybe you're thinking of separating from your current partner some of you you're perhaps in a relationship where you're feeling that it's all one-sided perhaps where you're feeling that you're putting all the work in and this person is not really putting any work in and maybe they're acting quite selfish towards you and then we've got passion allow your heart and soul to sing with joy so i feel that this could relate to um the love call and the butterfly cards here that someone has a lot of passion a lot of in enthusiasm for you um and it's making some of you are feeling very happy about about this <laughs> development especially when they express how much they love you when you get that really beautiful message i think some of you definitely so let's get some tarot out for you find out what's going on because i feel that there's definitely more than one storyline here some of you are perhaps going to be involved in a lot more healthier beautiful relationship here and some of you you know a bit of a one-sided relationship i feel some of you your relationship is evolving to the next level of commitment to a higher level of commitment so am i You've got the star. We started off with the star, which is Aquarius energy, a major arcana card. Some of you may be healing from a situation or trying to heal from a situation. This could be um, as a result of separating from someone. For some of you, you may have already separated from someone that has been very selfish within the relationship where you've been putting all it all the work in and perhaps you're needing to take time out to heal because you have got retreat here so maybe you feel that you need some time alone to heal yourself to heal your heart um you know in, and also this could be about wishes coming true as well so i feel that it could also relate to a wish coming true for some of you who are entering a happier relationship but i'm going to put it on this side because i feel that a lot of you are who are who have separated already from a relationship that was one-sided are in the process of trying to heal from from that situation um we've got some cards that want to come out for this side actually a uh, high level of commitment definitely some of you are definitely going to be entering a higher higher level of commitment um with the hierophant coming up um this definitely relates to the butterfly which says the relationship is evolving to the next phase so i think someone's not only expressing their love someone wants to perhaps take it to the next level there could be an engagement on the cards here for some of you marriage down the line i feel let's get out another card So I'm concentrating on this side for the time being. So we've got the lovers. So with this one-sided relationship, uh, we had the lovers come out, which is Gemini energy, another major arcana card. So far, you've got three major arcana cards out. So very important time in your life. I feel that for some of you who are dealing with a one-sided relationship, um, this could suggest that there's a third party that could be involved 
that may be the reason why they're not bothering to put in the work and straight after that it follows follows the three of cups Pisces, cancer scorpio and the three of cups does definitely suggest that there is a third party interference that maybe they're putting their energy and effort into another situation into another person you know and the other person um which could be the other woman the other man or depending on the situation of your male female you know um yeah so definitely a, a third party situation could be involved here because right after that we have the seven of swords so someone's definitely being very deceptive For those of you in a one-sided relationship someone's definitely getting up to deceptive behaviors behind your back it may be like I said, it could be seeing other people cheating on you, seeing someone behind your back, lying to you, um, deceiving you in some way. And Seven of Swords is Aquarius, Gemini and Libra energy. Yeah. And we had the Five of Swords, so... Yeah, you are in your head at the moment. Um, it's probably, you're probably just constantly thinking about this situation. You 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 may have, like I said, set, chosen to separate from this person. Maybe some of you already know about this third party situation. Maybe some of you don't. But I feel some of you may not know for sure if, what the situation is and you're in your head analyzing over analyzing going over every detail um, mentally and in anguish you know over this and and not being able to get it out of your head you know really just agonizing over it and going over every little detail and not being able to sleep you know just constantly thinking about this with the Five of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini and Libra. Yeah, and we've got the King, um, sorry, the Knight of Wands here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So you might feel like this person perhaps is non-committal uh, perhaps you feel that this person is constantly in and out of your life and um, maybe some of you already suspect that they have someone else or another situation going on you know another option or they're you know they've got a third party situation going on um, but they're very non-committal uh, they don't seem to want to settle down um with you and they're very selfish and they tend to not take anything very seriously um and they definitely are not taking into account how they're making you feel in the process and yeah you're finding that you need you know you feel quite like you're lacking in strength at the moment um but you are trying to muster up the strength to come to a decision i feel here i think for some of you the strength is that's leo energy your energy so i feel that you are trying to be realistic and and kind to yourself i feel that you do know what you need to do but it's finding the strength and the heart to do it because maybe you have that really strong emotional attachment to this person some of you and it's not the easiest thing in the world to do you might even though you may be in separation and you may have chosen to separate from this person um you know that they come back around and but you're finding it really hard to let go of this person to really break free it's a real struggle but with the king of swords coming up next i feel that some of you know that this is 
something you need to do for your highest good you know um your intuition is screaming at you um you have learned a lot of lessons while you've been in this relationship and you're wising up i think and some of you are going to start standing in your power i think it's and you're going to be some of you may be brutal in cutting this person off but it's needed i think for some of you you need to do this i think for your own good some of you are definitely going to choose to walk away got the eight of cups here Pisces, cancer scorpio yeah some of you are definitely going to be, choose to walk away um yeah, you still have emotions to this person, but you're trying to heal with the star here. You know, you're walking away uh, because you know that there's no future in it. You are seeking your happiness and you know that that's not going to be with this person. As long as you stay with this person, they are going to make you feel unhappy. And you know that this is not a way, the way it, you should feel, you know. They shouldn't make it. You don't want to feel this way. So you're walking away, I think, for a lot of you, definitely. That's because you're dealing with someone who's very immature. Page of Cups, yeah. Um, they might try to come back with a feeble apology. Um, I, I did get the Ace of Wands while I was shuffling. So, yeah, I do feel that they, they might try to come back in with an apology but it's still very immature and um still not taking you seriously and still very selfish i feel and i feel that you realize this some of you may feel a bit stuck you know with the hangs man here um kind of stuck in your situation kind of not being able to take action some of you will take action i can see that here that some of you definitely will take action and will be cutting this person out but some of you are still going to be torn about this you know maybe in separation but some of you are still not ready to totally cut this person out of your life with the hangman coming up um yeah and the hangman is neptune energy yeah I think some of you are definitely going to be doing your research and looking into this further. There's going to be some investigation work done on your part, looking into um, what this person is getting up to. You may find out things that you don't like, I think. Uh, you might discover that this person's actually got a third party situation going on and that maybe propels you to take the action you know and move in you know to move forward to take you know that assert to take assertive action for your highest good you know um you've got to stand in your power i feel and start pouring that love into yourself with the queen of cups um you're taking action and i feel that you are going to definitely a lot of you are definitely going to be walking away so let's focus back on this situation here with because this situation is quite different so so far we've got the hierophant for those of you that are where someone's expressing a higher level of commitment yeah we've got the ace of cups so someone here definitely is coming in to express a lot of love for you you'll be getting a lot of messages of love someone's one in a high level of commitment with you for some of you in a, a more happier relationship someone is going to let you know what they think of you how much they care about you and love you and the ace of cups pisces cancer and scorpio so <laughs> definitely a higher level of commitment on the cards for some of you here yeah it's going to make you with the sun coming up sun energy um uh definitely um gonna make you both very happy i think it's gonna make you enormously happy when you when when this person opens up to you and and really pours out their heart to you it, it's 
because you're their sunshine you make them completely happy and they want to express that to you and it's going to make you happy at the same time oh god see how positive these cards are compared to that side below me yeah so some of you are definitely going to be on cloud nine i think when you get this message of love because yeah i i feel that they definitely they definitely see a future with you they definitely you know it's like you manifested it's like they could have manifested um this is a card of you know manifesting wishing for something good to come into your life and i think you've manifested this um you know you've got all the tools that you desire that you need and you've manifested this into your life this this very special relationship and it's someone that's really going to give you it's going to be equal give and take as uh, someone that's going to hold you in high regard and really be able to share and express freely to you emotionally someone who's quite mature someone who's quite balanced uh, emotionally stable you know it's someone that's going to make you really happy and treat you right and it's you can drop any burdens that you've had any stress or worry or anxiety or question you know questions you have i think all those burdens you're ready to drop them anything from the past you're ready to drop it all um I feel that you have had issues that you've had to deal with from the past, you know, bad experiences that you've had in relationships, but you're ready to drop that burden in order to go on to something better. And yeah, but the two of cups here is there's definitely mutual affection and love on both sides here. Uh, this is going to be equal love uh, a really special love with the two of cups pisces cancer scorpio um something very special indeed so you know this person you know and i don't think you with the knight of pentacles uh capcom taurus virgo you may you may have had to wait you may have had to wait for some time for this person to really come around and express their love you know to really open up to you it may have taken a lot of work and a lot of time uh, for this person to really you know make this grand gesture but it's been worth the wait i think because this person they may take their time but once their mind's made up they put their heart and soul into it so this person you know is in it for the long haul it, it is very committed and um you know so it's been worth the wait and um i think for you de most definitely because they see a future i'm going to end it here i think for you and get some soul's journey cards out for you but yeah they see a future a bright future with you they 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 want to fully invest in you they want marriage kids everything you know uh, with you they see you as like you've got the sun, you've got the ten of pentacles, a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, you know, they see you as their future happiness, you know, they see a future with you, they want to invest in, in you, they want to give their all to you, so I see how much positive these cards on this side are compared to this side, such a contrast, but for those of you who are on this side, what a beautiful outcome for you, so let's round this off with some yeah we've got some cards here from soul's journey so i'm gonna start off with this side um so we've got regret i know that i cannot change the past maybe some of you do have regrets about getting involved with this person this it could be that this person um will have regrets about the way they treated you and wanting to return you know and yeah i feel that there are there is definitely going to be some regrets with this person down the line for the way they treated you and um, they're going to know they they missed out on a really great opportunity with you and i feel on this side I've got patience i accept that everything happens in divine order yeah so you've had to be quite patient with this person 
because like I said, this person took their time, um, I think, to come around um, to open up and express. But it's been worth, I think it will be well worth the wait for those of you who haven't, where this hasn't quite happened yet, it's coming. So just have patience, all right? So that was your reading, Leo. I'm going to leave it there. And I wish you luck with everything. And please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Definitely hit the subscribe button. I would love to get more Leo energy into my channel. And also, if you're interested in purchasing a personal reading from me, remember you can find the link in the description box below this video. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you all soon. Bye.